Alright, now I'm gonna go get the treasure up in the top right corner. Spoilers, there's treasure. There be treasure. Yuzo did a great job of creating a new third battle theme for EO3. Yeah, I haven't listened to it too much. I want to wait until I get to that to hear it. So There's going to be multiplayer for this. For like EO3. I know EO3's got multiplayer with uh, Sequest. I want to try that. If I'm... If I end up getting to that game, like I'm going to obviously stream like my playthrough of all three of these games. But when I get to that game, I... And people are in like uh, the Discord server. I'll ask if anyone wants to come and like we can uh, we can do sea quests and shit. That'd be fun, like on stream sea quests. Good to know that it works well. It's not like it would be hard for Atlas to fuck up net code for a go for goddamn multiplayer. Like it's not laggy as hell. Like it's not laggy as shit, is it? So you continue into the forest. You reach a clearing. Squarish boxes are lined up before you. It's possible they were left by fellow explorers of the, it, it, of the labyrinth. Why would they leave these boxes, though? Who's leaving these boxes? Why? Why? Why are these boxes just being left by random-ass motherfuckers? Honestly, while it is slightly overpriced, I prefer paying $80 for the 3 HD than paying I don't know how much for the... Yeah, that's the thing. I do too. I have all these games on my D. I have every single game, like not including Mystery Dungeon, but I have all these games on my DS and 3DS also. Like they're sitting right over there as I speak. Um, but the collection, people are like overblowing the price of the collection quite a bit. Like it's a bit much, but like compared to what's on offer right now, it's like crazy. Then to they must be a part of the labyrinth. Uh, the boxes sit ready to be opened, offering no clues to their nature. Do, 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 do. Thank God for depth perception. Oh, I keep forgetting I can do that. I'm not playing the original game. Just keep in mind that multiplayer with other players only allows you to take one of your own. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, you also get access to the limit skills of the other. That's crazy. Uh, I never played the multiplayer on the OG game, because no one else had it around me, plus the game's mad expensive, I'm not gonna buy it for anyone just to play multiplayer. Um, but I'd assume that was the case, I looked at uh, multiplayer footage and that's how it looked to me. That's what it looked like. Uh, that's a Medica 2. Oh god, keyboard. You know, I'm just gonna use my mouse right now, in arrow, in arrow keys. Oh. There's one. It only works for one attack. It only works for one attack. That sucks. Jeez. Three moles. Three moles are a nuisance. You know what? I'm just gonna. Bring whatever the hell you want, I guess. Bartering also lets you trade literally any non-key. That is gonna make... I assume you can also barter, like, you can just... Trade... I wonder how trading works on the Steam and, and Switch versions. I wonder. This is that sword, right? Scramasax. Oh my god, that's busted. But, oh my god, the, using, being able to use the keyboard instead of, like, on an emulator, instead of just being able to fucking tap the screen, like, click the screen, I much prefer being typing like this. Like, holy guacamole, bro. Holy cow and catfish. This stream, I'm gonna try to beat an FOE. That's one of my goals. That is gonna be a pain in the ass, though. I don't even know what level I gotta be. Yo, the encounter rate... Like, it's so weird having to put down my controller, though, but I can type fast, so we good. Uh, 
If you're wondering what notes I put, 100N, fruit, I usually misspell it because I'm funny, crystal door, agua, agua. Now let me mark this. This is another crystal door. It is locked, so I'll put that. Fuck. <laughs> yes, I'd like one <laughs> Amino Habakiri for a frog's butt. <laughs> what the fuck? I love this community. It's so well- it's been so welcome- like, when I got into this community, it's been so welcoming. Like, holy cow. I've had a great time with these games, and like, the fans and like, community members are so nice. Please do not die- okay, thank god. Like, I haven't really had any toxic interactions with people. The only, like, toxicity I've seen from Etrian Odyssey is, like, all the people complaining about the goddamn remaster and, like, its price point and, like, all this other shit. It's like, bro. It's an Atlas remaster. What did you expect? Like, bro, chill. I don't want any of that shit with EO. This, this is a wholesome ass community, honestly. Oh, yeah, I can get quests now. I forgot. They don't give XP in this still. Ahoy, kiddos. You're the newly licensed adventurers I heard about from the Rada, aren't you? Here at the Golden Deer, I hear all sorts of problems that only adventurers can solve. Gathering materials, wiping out monsters, you name it. I hear someone sobbing about it. <laughs> this is a pretty good uh, innkeeper. I like her. Not innkeeper, uh, barkeep. I expected balance. I didn't get it, but still. True. Uh, I hope so. The the font mod I'll probably get. I'm thinking about getting some mods like in between streams. But yeah, uh, in terms of barkeeps, uh, what's his nuts from EO2? I forget names pretty well. Uh, I'm so I should remember his name. Like what the fuck? I don't remember his name. What's his name? Uh, the uh, bark Cass. Yeah, Cass. Shit. How did I forget his name? He's literally the best. A lot of the other ones aren't so amazing, but him and the one from EO1 and 3 are great too. The one from EO3 is funny. Talks in like broken English sometimes. I hear someone sobbing about it, and when I do, I pass the request on to kids like you. You're welcome to take them on. Yep, I can get quests. And an artisan desires seven strips of soft hide for the purpose of making clothes. Yeah, I should have saved the soft hide, but whatever. I don't care. Did I ha do I have any still? Hide goods are in high demand. Uh, and his supply is running low. Shouldn't have a problem getting some soft hide from the forest critters. Yeah, if you pay attention, uh, you shouldn't have a tough time. It's the thing with these games. Uh, pay attention and you'll uh, do good. So I gotta get water. The holy water. Decided to take on the request, have you? Good, I've been hoping someone would. An ex-explorer, I guess you'd say, wants to get some, you to get some holy water from a forest spring. Supposedly you can get some of this water deep within the east side of the first floor. Careful not to slip, okay? In case you don't know, do you want to know what the retire- Uh... The one from EO1 is MILF material. Cast is cast, and then you have the rest. True. Uh, what is the retire bonus in EO1? I don't know. I really don't know. I've never tried. Uh... I don't have any whatchamacallits. Oh yeah, I got the Scramasax. Uh... Sure. Give it, give it, give it to me. Give me the, give me the deets. I'm gonna knock out both those quests in one fell swoop. Man, I'm having too much fun. It's gonna be really tough not to play this off stream. I don't want to though. I want to play it all on stream. Get it. A paltry maximum of three points and a stat determined predetermined by class before retirement with maybe the same amount of SP. Damn. Three point Jesus. That does not sound good at all. I know the level cap is 70, like no matter what. Because in later games, like, I think three and onwards, when you beat the dragons, you get, like, a level, like, a plus ten on the level cap. You reach out to that water to draw from the source. Obtain holy water. Yet, 
This does fuck all. I forgot. Yeah. Why? It does fuck all. Jesus Christ in a handbasket, bro. God, it's so strange being able to move this fast in EO1. Damn, that damage upgrade is looking nice. Oh, not being able to, like, zoom in and out the map while running is so strange, because I could do that on DS and 3DS. Mm, no, I could do it in the 3DS games, but not on the DS games. Boom, clack -a lack -a. Yeah, I got that quest done. Um, two. Oh, it's like the later games. Nice. Let's just hope I get, like, a couple rat encounters. Not what I want to see. Ow. Huh. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. What is- what are these skill requirements? Oh, I forgot, like, this game has whack skill requirements. Alright, it's whatever. Uh -huh. Get it, bro. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here and uh, get the soft hide. Oh god. Oh god. Please, god protect me. Alright, you got me. Doing nothing. This is fine, I guess. Well, time for funny. I'm, I already did it. Shit, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? I gotta wait till the next day. I'm so dumb. Oh, I didn't show him the note. Yet. Show her the note yet? Permission from the Rada. Even without it, I wanted to sell you all my goods, but I promised Rada Hall, and I'd stick by that. Some of the some of the voice acting in uh, Untold is pretty nice. Like I like the voice they gave her in Untold. What you got for me? Uh, sorry, I have allergies because of my work. Shit. It's kind of a tick. I have. Here tis area. Here. Here. Tis's Ariadne thread. If you lost or about to die, use it to warp out it to Labyrinth. God, this is hard to read. I tell everyone to take some before they leave for, for a trip down to the Labyrinth. But don't go tinkin' they're free. How many do you want? <sighs> One. One is fine. I try to hold off on buying items early on. Stack what? Threads? Yeah, you can. Uh, we don't talk about that, uh, Arc Ether. I never fell for it, honestly. I'm being dead ass. I never fell for it, so like. Shit's suspicious in the labyrinth, bro. It's a little suspect. Bing, 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 bong. Da, da, da. I'm gonna stay on this floor. How did it say I needed? Seven. Seven soft hides? It's seven soft hide. I don't know. Fucking grammar is so stupid. I hate it. I claim to be good at it, but like, nope. God damn. Oh, my controller. Ah, input device has been disconnected. Just the fact that it says that is a little, a little spooky. Oh yeah, I got an achievement. Emerald Grove. The, the... The, um, 
The art for the achievements is pretty good. It's pretty funny. I wonder if it's done by uh, the artist uh, of the series himself. I don't know. The achievement art is something else. Oh yeah, that quest. I think I know which quest you're talking about. That ain't gonna be that bad. That's gonna be fine. I did that quest in my sleep. This is what I get for not saving the soft hide. Who it be? I just heard that. Thank you, Arkether, for the follow. More Etrian gaming to come. I'm usually uh I usually play fighting games on stream, but uh sometimes I play other games. I've been waiting to play this game on stream. Like I always wanted to, but like I don't know. Emulation isn't fucky, it's just no motivation. I didn't get jump scared, I was just not expecting it. It's not loud like it either. <laughs> Maybe, I, I don't know, I use the word jump scare too liberally. Okay, the request of soft hides. Amazing. Damn, I'm knocking these out one by one, but there are gonna be more that pop up later. I was desire to send a soft hide for purposes of, make, purposes of making clothes. Welcome back, kids. Good to see you finish up the request safely. Keep up the good work. I'm so used to, like, the lengthy, extensive dialogue of, like, finishing quests from other- from later games, and here, too. Yes. Medica 2. Welcome back, kids. Glad you were able to get your hands on that holy water. The client said her grandpa discovered this stuff back when he was an adventurer. He was on the verge of death when uh, he found it and thought it would be his last meal. Then it happened. He suddenly felt revitalized and safely made it all the way to town. Looks like everyday well water to me, but it saved him. No wonder uh, he thought it was holy. I bet that girl will be thrilled to hear you found it. Thanks, everyone. Think there really is some mysterious power in this stuff? Ha. Nah, can't be. I can literally make my parents jump by walking into the room at some point, or even walking up to them in the same room. You have some scary powers. Oh, more? Oh, I didn't even go to the second floor yet. Measure a pyroxene from the forest, useful in discovering and constructing walls. Quest for hand, hand axe. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do every quest too, because I hate myself. If this were EO3, it'd be more likely that to do it though. Decided to take the request, have you? Good, I've been hoping someone would. Shilika's Goods is the only place in Etria to get weapons and armor. When her granddad ran the place, he'd gather materials to himself to make all kinds of stuff. But ever since he, she inherited the place, well, the kid tries, but it's not the same. She's got her hands full just running the shop, so she could use a hand. Could you help her? Of course I'll help, best girl, bro. Go see her and ask if there's anything in particular she's looking for. She is wonderful. Shelika is a wonderful character. Decided to take the request, have you? Good, I've been hoping so. I'm not going to read that every time if she keeps saying it. <clears throat> those explorers learn harvesting skills called Chop, Mine, and Take. You collect all kinds of stuff inside the labyrinth by using those, including pyroxene, which our poor client needs. Uh, if you're going to keep on as adventurers, you better remember that technique. My real power is surviving at low HP by keeping a mage Yarno, but yeah, being an accidental sneak is definitely a side power. Cringe. Say what? Request about to hand axe. Ah, now I see. You're to ones who accepted it. Let me see. To artisans made me a list. Write Tiss down somewhere, okay? What they need is five pieces of hardwood and five shells. Hard shells. As you get all the junk, just sell them to me and I'll pass it along. You don't have to do it all at once here. Bit by bit is just fine with me. Seems legit. Menuing has gotten very fast from playing these games for hundreds of hours. 